Growing water scarcity is now one of the leading challenges for a sustainable development. In line with the principle of circular economy, wastewater reclamation and its reuse in different activities, especially in agriculture, have emerged as a viable option to handle water crisis. For this purpose efficient wastewater treatment technologies are necessary to promote the reuse of wastewater, the advanced oxidation processes, based on the generation of hydroxyl radicals, have been raised as alternative to conventional treatments for both water disinfection and decontamination. The possibility to save energy costs by replacing artificial light with natural solar radiation has attracted interest, especially for isolated areas with a high solar radiation incidence. Solar-driven processes are commonly carried out in photoreactors known as compound parabolic collectors which technology has already demonstrated to reach high performance for water purification. With the aim of investigate the solar treatment's capability for water purification, three bacterial strains were simultaneously monitored and quantified as microbial targets in all solar treatments. Besides, three commonly detected pharmaceutical compounds in secondary effluents have been investigated as model of contaminant of emerging concern. The simultaneous monitoring of bacteria and contaminants of emerging concern by solar processes was firstly investigated at laboratory scale with 200 ml solar glass vessels reactors, and subsequently the effectiveness and the applicability of the treatments have been demonstrated at pilot plant scale in actual urban wastewater, aiming to achieve the minimum standards for water quality used for the irrigation of crops.